In this section, we are going to talk about scanning and auditing common services found on the average network. While in the previous section we focused on web servers, we are going to turn our attention to other services such as databases and mail servers in this one. We will be using Nmap to check for misconfigurations as well as common vulnerabilities in those services. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to list MySQL databases, users and variables, how to conduct auditing for insecure misconfigurations, and how to perform dictionary attacks against them. Before we start scanning our MySQL server, let's see what Enma provides in terms of NSC scripts for auditing MySQL databases. These are all the NSC scripts we can play with to audit MySQL servers in specific. There are also other scripts for uh, Microsoft SQL, databases, Mongo databases, Oracle, and even CouchDB. Remember in the previous section how we had managed to find the MySQL credentials in a backup file on the web server? We are going to use those now to conduct our assessment. We are using multiple NSC scripts in this scan. MySQL users to enumerate all the MySQL users. MySQL databases to list all the MySQL databases. MySQL info to print auxiliary information such as the MySQL version number. MySQL dump hashes to dump all the password hashes and MySQL variables to show all the variables on the server. The variables list is long, but you can find a lot of interesting information, such as file paths for log files and maximum connections allowed by the server. Another even more important value is the max connect errors. According to the official documentation, the value of the max connect errors systems variable determines how many successive interrupted connection requests are permitted. After max connect errors, failed requests without a successful connection, MySQL daemon assumes that something is wrong, for example that someone is trying to break in, and blocks the host from further connections until you issue a flash host statement or execute a MySQL admin flash hosts command. We are going to use that information to limit our parallel number of connections when conducting dictionary attacks later. Let's move on to the rest of the Nmap scan report. You can see all the MySQL databases information such as the version number, all the users, and a lot more. We are rerunning the script MySQL dump hashes because it takes different arguments. So by dumping the hashes we can attempt to crack them later to retrieve the password for the rest of the users. Let's now run a script that can quickly detect if your MySQL server suffers from any serious misconfiguration. It works by auditing the MySQL server against parts of the CIS MySQL benchmark. Specifying the audit file is mandatory in this script. So our server suffers from some potentially bad configuration security-wise. For example, the secure authentication option has to do with how the MySQL can be allowed to transmit the password using the old hashing format, which is less secure. And there are a bunch of other configuration options that could be better. Another useful Nmap script is MySQL Empty Password, which attempts to find exposed MySQL servers that can be accessed without a password. 
We won't be running this script against our host as we already know the root uh, MySQL password. However, keep in mind that this script checks for empty passwords for the root or anonymous account only. Unless you manually specify more users in this table. And finally, let's conduct a dictionary attack against our MySQL server. We enable the debugging option to help us see the credentials being tried. Remember that MySQL will block us if we make more than max connect errors attempts without a successful connection in an attempt to stop a potential break in. After the scan finishes, we will attempt to connect to the server with the discovered credentials to see if the above condition was violated. Nmap did find the credentials, but let's see if they are correct now. One possible way to avoid these kinds of tricky situations is to limit the number of parallel connections. In our case, we will be using the brute threads option and we are going to limit it to 2. While Nmap is running again, we should point out that there is also a flexible way to limit the connections by using NCRAC, Nmap's authentication cracking tool, that I wrote. But we are going to use that to check that out later. In the meantime, let's watch this Wireshark graph. You can see a huge spike in network traffic due to our dictionary attack opening a lot of TCP connections in parallel. Our scan is finished. The scan was only a bit slower this time. Let's try to see if the server blocked us this time though. Success! By limiting the brute forcing threads, we managed to bypass that condition. Note however that it is hard to know the ideal number of parallel connections without also impacting speed too much, depending on the server configuration, the protocol, and the network conditions. In this video we learned how to use a variety of Nmap scripts to conduct network assessments of MySQL servers.